The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 11. You get the Nasdaq up 30. S&Ps are up 250. Gold contracts down $16.30 at 1,323. You get silver off 50 cents at $19.50. Platinum's down 16,076. Uh, light sweet crude. It's going to be the big number, 10.30. Uh, they're hitting it. They hit it uh, about the last hour. We're down 77 cents, 43.88. The real question is, is it going to stand at that 44 level because that's where it's been consolidating out. You have the 10-year uh, bonds, 10-year notes rather, down nine ticks, 130, 130-year bond off a full point, 171.01, and good old King Dollar. King Dollar is up uh, 82 ticks, 97.19, and you know, yesterday, uh, slow day, you don't sell a market, but you know, Microsoft last night comes out, now we get some action, man. We get Microsoft up a couple bucks, you get the oil market down, we get the numbers coming out, it's like, okay, baby. Action. Action, man, action in the summer. And it's, what day is it? Wednesday. Wednesday. So I know Mondays, Mondays and Fridays normally can be a little slow. Tuesday, yesterday was like, oh man, where's the action, man? Where's of course, the Microsoft gave us some action, right? Uh, Microsoft gave us some action. And we talk action, folks. We talk uh, talking options. You're talking swim lessons. We got to talk to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim. And remember, folks, every trading day, right here at TFNN, right on your cell phone, you can get this no matter where you are in the world. And it comes in so great, it's amazing, folks. You just hit TFNN. You hit Tiger TV, you're going to see the Think or Swim platform, you're going to see the charts, you're going to see how Scott and Kevin line up all these different trades, particularly coming into earnings season. Because what does happen, folks, of course, we're on the air every day, but let me tell you something. Earnings season is not only just great to do, it's easier to do, and all of a sudden the hours just pass by you, and it's like, you know, so quick. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Cam. Good morning, Cammy. How's everybody doing? Good morning, Kevin. Doing good, man. Doing good. You know, isn't it? We we had you know you know it's so cool, Kevin. Last night we had some of your customers calling, uh, and this, this is so cool, man. When when this happens, because what what does happen is that some people do know options so well. You know what I mean? Sure. And uh, one of them is now picture this. This so I start at three o'clock. I go from three to five Eastern time, right? And he wanted to do a strangle on uh, Microsoft, right? And it's so cool when that happens because I know what the trade is. He told everyone what he was, what he was looking at and bottom line, all he needed two bucks and he got two and a half bucks. So he made 50 cents, yeah. you know? But, but it's really cool when you get those types <coughs> of calls because that's a sophisticated call really. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. But, but he had it broken down, man. He, a nice play. He, it was, yeah. he, he, was only, he was risking a dollar on each side. Yeah. That's what he was risking. Do you know what I mean? It's, and Microsoft has moved that much, right? And, and, you know what's funny is I was watching. I was, did you listen to that one? Uh, oh, no, oh, I didn't. Oh, but okay. I was waiting for Microsoft, and I was doing other stuff, and I'm sitting in front of my computer, and you just kind of get caught up in your work, right? And then I forget about Because right. I was going to watch the market and wait for the news. And uh, and then I see the headline, oh, Microsoft beats. And I'm like, oh, man, I forgot. And then I'm like, oh, what's the right? And, you know, you look right. back, and it's like, what a right. pop. Yeah. All right. Amazing. Um, you know, it, it, it's got to be interesting here, Kevin, is that, you know, that's that's helping the S&P a little. Uh, these oil numbers, uh, you know, uh, you know, the, the oil thing is going to be interesting here, you know, because you, you get the XLE down. We get Exxon Mobil, uh, Chevron. They're not coming out to numbers next week, but that's a little drag in the market right now. Oh, sure. I mean, what's going on in oil right now, you know, there's several things hitting oil right now, right? It's, you know, Halliburton came out this morning with their statement that the lows are in for rig count. That right there is a bearish oh, statement. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then you have your headline today, Tom, which is the strength of the dollar. Yeah. That's going to hurt commodities. And then something that you and I have been talking about for the last few weeks, that end of June, mid-July seasonal trade that yeah. is in oil. Right. Right? Right. And it seems like no number's good enough, and every number that disappoints is over, uh, 
you know, overdone on the downside, and oil just can't get out of its way. And so the question really is, are we starting to delink from the E-minis and, and, and oil? Yeah. Right? So ask, how many months have we come in and just oil goes with the market, the market goes with oil? Yep. And we knew it can't last, right? right? But is this the beginning of that decoupling? That yeah, we well, about? that's a great point, and I can see that happening particularly because of the aspect that we get Facebook, um, Google, Amazon coming in with numbers next week. It's like, yeah. okay, man, you know, that until they come in, I don't think anyone, I mean, they could send the NASDAQ to the freaking moon in about two seconds. Sure. Absolutely. You know? I mean, it's still, you know, individual stocks are still going to be driven by their earnings, as you can see, right? Individual, the, the, you know, my 19-year-old is an intern with us right now. Okay. And he's asking me, he's starting to get interested in act, and he's like, well, Dad, the overall volatility is very low. I'm like, yes, the overall market volatility is low, but individual names are rocking right now with earnings events. Yeah. And that's really how you, you know, that's how, you, that's what's sustaining traders right now are earnings events. Yeah, we're going to get him on one of those TD Ameritrade commercials, man. It'd be perfect. <laughs> You know, it's a very, it, it, it touched my heart, Tom. He, he messaged me today during the TD Ameritrade, our, our inner system, and goes, Dad, is this move in Chipotle going to be real? It says $27. I'm like, oh, look at you, son. That <laughs> nice. That's awesome. a beautiful thing. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Listen, man, thanks so much. Look forward to the show at 12 o'clock. Butterfly spreads today, guys. That's what we're Butterfly spreads. Oh, butterflies. Okay, I like it. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is up 17. Nasdaq's up 32. S&P's up 3.5. Larry we'll Pesamento right has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report. And make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow up 23 right now. Nasdaq's up 35. S&Ps are up uh, four and a half. Percentage-wise, what we have here, thanks, Tom. Percentage-wise, what we have is, I'll be right there. One second. So you get the uh, the Dow up with one tenth of a percent. Uh, S&P one tenth, but the Nasdaq seven tenths. And you know, when you do look at the Nasdaq, uh, where, where this gets interesting here is that. And this is where the catch-up has to come in, I think. If, when we take a look at this NASDAQ, it has this swing point up there, uh, 4702. And that's what it looks like it's going after, you know? Yeah. And if the S&Ps just kind of move up just a little bit more, then you're going to be in harmony with, you know, the three indices, meaning the S&P, uh, the NASDAQ, and the Dow, because the NASDAQ has been the, the uh, laggard here. Let's go to Al in Houston. Hey, Al, what's going on? Good morning. Um, I appreciate everything you guys do for uh, the uh, Hispanic community. Uh, a lot of us listen to you guys. I uh, know that Carlos calls you every so often, and totally. you know, he's kind of kind of inspired a lot of us to uh, get into it. Well, we but, appreciate um, you growling and prowling with us out here, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, quick question. I know uh, I know your your views on uh, gold, but um, I'm working with um, the uh, uh, dust and the jade dust, okay. which follows the GDX. I know. I know you've been talking about uh, the miners, yeah, and some earnings coming through. And today we had a <clears throat> downturn on um, on a GDX, and yes. my uh, my positions went up. So, uh, do these follow each other? Uh, if if gold does bounce back up to from thirteen hundred or from twelve eighty. How will the GDX and the miners react? Okay, so let's go through it. So there's two separate issues, that the, which, which you're asking, okay, which is as the gold contract goes, does the GDX and the miners go with them? And most of the time, yes, it does. You know, it doesn't have to, but most of the time it does. What we have going on in this particular time is that if we, you know, gold has had an incredible run, you know, from January 1st, you know, bottom line is that, uh, you know, we're at 1100 or 1050 and you go to 1300 You know, I'm just ballparking that, okay? But, uh, you know, we went to, what, 1377 actually, from 1087 in six months, yep. okay? Mm -hmm. So the GDX and the miners, you know, a lot of them went up two, three, four hundred percent. Um, sure. So, yes, they, they'll go together. Now, now, to answer the second part of the question, what you're saying is that, okay, the GDX is coming down today, gold is coming down, um, what is happening inside the GDX, folks, is that Barrick Gold uh, is coming out with the, no, Newmont is coming out with the numbers after the close. And I was talking about this last night. Because when Newmont goes after the close here will affect at least Barrick, because those are the two largest gold companies in the world. Um, you know, Barrick, right, Newmont right now is coming down, and we've done, what, 1.8 million. And the volume's not that big yet, you know what I mean? We'll see whether it gets bigger during the daytime. I mean, my take is that Newmont's going to get out to like 38, and right now we're at 39.61. Um, okay. So if you look at the GDX, the GDX is coming down with volume, though. The GD GDX is hitting volume. We've already done 17 million. You know, you're coming into 53 million, so it looks like it's going to have... Well, you're coming to 86 million, but even at 86 million, it looks like it's going to do that much. So... That will help you if you're in the dust product. And the dust product, folks, is the three times inverse correlation of the GDX. It's actually three times the inverse correlation of the New York ARCA gold miners index, but that is the GDX. Yes. Um, but when that turns again, you've got to be ready that you're going to turn that trade from a short trade to a long trade. That's, that's oh, on, the, on, on the GDX? Well... No, no. On the GDX, you go long. I, when you brought up dust, I, my, I, are you long dust or long the GDX? Oh, I'm, du I'm long the uh, dust. Exactly. That's my point. So okay. when you get that pullback, you're going to want to change that and, you know, go long the nugget. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. And, and yes. that's going to get tricky, you know, down at that point. It's like, okay, you know, what's going to change it? 
Uh, my take right now is that I think this is going to take um, a little bit longer than uh, meaning this pullback, you know, because it took a long time. Tommy and I have been talking about, you know, t silver wouldn't break. It finally broke this morning. And that's always dangerous, um, you know, meaning that when something doesn't break and then and especially in the metals market, when it breaks and all of a sudden it's like, oh, is a steam train coming out, coming at you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? All of a sudden Those trends can go fast. They, right? can, they can go fast. They can yeah. go fast, you know. So where do you see the GDX kind of a good area to kind of just pay attention to? At right now, I you know, the, the bigger area to pay attention to is go to the uh, the 24th of June. And the high of that is $27.71, and it's a good – that should have some um, support there. And if it doesn't, then you're going to go from $27.71, and you go all the way down to the, the next bar, which is uh, May 18th, which is $25.42. Okay. That's how I. That's how I'd look at that. Now, what yeah. will happen is this: if we get another day like we got today, tomorrow, then what's going to happen is that that is going to break the uptrend. The sh it's a short-term uptrend, but that would break the uptrend. Um, you know, you can almost make the case that we b we broke it. You know that. You know, but one more day with conviction would would say that hey man, you might get 22 bucks, which would really be a vicious c correction. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of looking at. I, I noticed that, well, uh, it kind of plays within the Bollinger Bands, and uh, so I'm, I just want to get some, a little bit more confirmation just to be uh, a little bit more defensive. And oh, on yeah, my I, I see. Here. Yeah, we just put up the Bollinger Bands, jumped on the other side of it this morning. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cooking, bro. All right, well, a little yeehaw from Texas. <laughs> Thanks, yeehaw! Guys. We like it, man. Love it. Yeehaw. I All right. like it. Goodbye, hey. guys. Thanks, man. Thanks, Al. Ha have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Okay, so uh, oil. We got oil at 1030. Yeah, check out this volatility, right? I mean, yeah. you're talking about from 8 in the morning, 4540. Yep. Down to 46, 4460. So, so 80 cents down. Right. And now we're, we're up 50 cents off those lows with five minutes until inventory numbers come out. Pretty interesting to have all that movement ahead of such a news event. Huge. Yeah. And, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex product, great time to do it. Um, it's a defined option type of product. Um, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. What, what I did do this morning, I, I hit this, uh, and I, I'm sure most of you have listened quite a bit. You know, I like either the tops of the boxes, the bottom of the boxes. So I took quite a risk. Well, not really. I, I was You're risking a little premium, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I took, I paid a lot of premium. It just happened that it hit immediately. Well, yeah, you, you had... Um, sold them at 44.82. Yeah. Right? So the ceiling in this one is, is at 45. 45. So you're risking, I think, 18 dollars per contract. Right. But when I did it, it was trading, I think, at 45.50 or something. That you know what I mean. So I was really giving up about 70 cents this morning. Okay. Where when you? I actually sold it, yeah, yeah, because I sold it at, uh, yeah, at 8.23. Yeah. And I just happened to be like, what okay, happened? I, see, yeah. I so, sold it in the aspect right. that I was watching the dollar. I said, man, this dollar wants higher. So, but what happened is I, I sold it and I just, I lucked out because it yeah, fell apart course. right at that point. It went down 80 cents, right? I yeah. know, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, what happens, folks, is this. The risk risk, risk reward is, is, is great, but it cannot close over 45 where I lose the yeah, full that's $18. Yeah, right. I was just going to put it on, right? I, I $18 mean, per contract. I mean, the nice thing is that you start getting value back, though, right when it's at, like, basically right here, this, oh, this it's, line. Oh, it's, so, it's well, great. It's and especially I get, nice with getting volume. And I get the 230. I did the 230. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We got Tom from Tampa, too. I'll be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender.
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Uh, I suspect we get the, the numbers out, and we're just, uh, it's fighting back and forth it between 45.20 to 44.90. We'll pull it over. Um, is the, what we, We're watching it, right? We're both just silently watching it. as in the, Seriously. Like the little pop-up, right. pop-down, pop-up, pop-down. Um, and we'll pull up the news, but it looks like a slightly pop-down. Nothing too dramatic yeah. quite yet. Um, can you try and maybe pull Yeah, up the let's news? see what they have to say. C L uh, U six. We got some action. Yeah, now, I guess. As, as, as. Okay, so uh, oil drops below forty four. Below forty four. I don't see below forty four. Here we go. Perfect. Crude, oh. two point three million barrels um, down. Decline. Median estimate was two million barrels. Okay. Um. U.S. distillate demand rose 417,000, no, 714,000. Gasoline rose 114,000. Yeah, it's the, hanging, and the graph is hanging right where we left it at about 44.85. Right, right. Okay, we'll see where it shakes out. Anything under 45, I'm in good shape. Um, yeah, there's so much information. I just pulled up, like, the supply demand. So look at everything that you can go through. Isn't in that terms cool? Of the the variety of the variety, of and this blending. is all just to put it, you know, the change, the weekly percent, yearly percent, four week average, right. July fifteenth, July eighth, gasoline, blended ethanol, reformulated, yeah, um, East Coast, West Coast, Gulf. This is the stuff that Andy Hecht really goes through well when he does his program too. Exactly. People, um, now I just Anthony's popped over forty five. Yeah, we'll pull we'll pull. So forty five forty five is a crucial deal for where I'm at right now. Yeah, so we pulled up during the break and yep. and you grabbed a few more just right at the forty five level and these are eleven amps. Right. So I have the two thirties and I got the elevens. Yeah. And so that was a risk of about twenty dollars per contract with about $130 of profit going right. down to 43.50. Right. And you have a full half hour. And we can see that this is trying to digest it. I wouldn't say I'll, that that's I, gotten I, a, I, I like I yeah. still like the trade. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. As in I, I, as, I still like the trade. Let's go to Tom in Tampa. Hey Tom, what's going on? Hey, what's up, fellas? How you Morning, doing, Tom? man? Doing good, man. Good. What are we going to look at today? Hey, take a look at uh, load LOD. Is that uh 
come down with a little juice yesterday, Tom, or you think it's just normal with this gold contract getting ready to pull back here? Let's take a look. It's Comstack uh, Mining. Okay, this is a... Uh a company, a gold company that does business in um, Nevada. Uh, they are a small producer, very tiny. They do about uh, 400 to 800,000 um, a quarter. Um, you know, it can pull back. This can this can actually get back into this 36 cents. You know, you're, tra you're trading at 38 cents right now. Um, okay. Yesterday, you did 500,000. You, you're going to do more than that today. You're coming into uh, a million shares. You just don't want it to break the thirty-six dollars. That's the number 36 here. Thirty-six cents. Thirty-six dollars. Okay. Yeah, Thirty-six dollars. Thirty-six cents. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That that okay. that is the number. Um, and you know, if, if you this this equity trades uh, not a little bit funny, but you gotta you gotta watch it like a hawk um, because what 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 I like about this is that even when you know basically some of these equities will pull them back pretty good. Um, this didn't pull back that bad. You know it. The last five days, it stayed up. It stayed up there, you know, trading within three pennies. But I guess percentage-wise, right. that's the same. You know what I mean? So. Right. Okay. Cooking, brother. Thanks. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go to Tom in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, what's going on? It is Tom. Okay, he wanted to look at uh, the Velocity shares, three times silver uh, ETN. Oh, there he is. What's Good happening? Morning, Tom. <laughs> How are you guys? This is our fourth Tom. We got two Toms. This is our second Tom <laughs> caller in a row. Four Toms. It's, it's confusing, huh? It's a beautiful <laughs> thing, man. Totally. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what your take is on this DSLV. I've been buying it in the 17s, high 17s, and finally it's been listening to you. When's silver going to crack? When's it going to crack? When's it going to crack? I think it may be ready to. I think you're right. You know, you get this, uh, this is the Velocity three times silver ETN. Um, and, if, you know, if we, if we look at, now this is, this is right off the, uh, silver, you know, contract. And so what you have out here today, um, you're, it's, you're up a buck 22. Um, okay. So one twenty one sixty three. Yeah. The next leg up looks like 2163 on this. Let me just see this. It's, it's, it's high to, hey, I'm going to bring up the silver contract, all right, because that, what happens at the doubles and the triples, folks, there's so many gaps in between them that it, 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 in this particular case, it's easier saying, okay, where do I think the silver contract is going? And so if we look at the silver contract, what you're going to see is that you, you have 39,000 contracts, you're, you've got to $19.44. Well, the swing point's 1928. So what's cool about that is like, okay, man, you know, 1928 is game. That you know, it, I suspect it's going to go after it. If you break it, then you're really going to have big action, man. Because if you break it, then $18 is on the horizon. $18 was the high of you know where where it broke topside from. Yeah, end of April. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll just move the stop up then and just kind of watch it, and I'll keep it. I mean, I probably won't keep it over the weekend, but uh, unless it's unless something really big happens. But I don't like to stay in them too long, but uh, I'll give this one a shot for a little bit longer. No, I, I can see that just because it is a Wednesday, do you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just I would get out of it before the weekend also. Okay, very good. Okay, man, have a great one. Have a safe one. Yeah, you Take too. care, Tom. Bye now. I saw you pull up that USO there. <laughs> Quite a rise, yeah. We go back to the oil contract. Oil uh, is out here at 4532 right now. Now, what the oil has done, this is going to be interesting to see uh, where this shakes out because it's coming back right to where it broke down from this morning. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, if we do... And like we said, you get 23 minutes even till the 11 a.m. Right. And you have the daily till 2.30. Yeah. And there really wasn't... I was surprised there was an immediate pullback just because, I guess, right, There's that was 400,000 400, barrels less as in more of a decline than they thought less supply yeah and and what's, uh, this is what's also going on here folks okay if in fact we see this oil contract stay under 45 like today okay that's going to be a real problem for those uh for the s p in general i that that would be the the precursor that whether it's next week or the week after is that that could start rolling over you know because that's when you when you look at the uh, aspect of how we consolidated there, we consolidated for quite a while. Yeah. 
And that would put in play a $40 oil, and a $40 oil is like, that's not a $50 oil. No, <laughs> you know? right? No. Yeah. That's dramatic. Different ballgame. It's, it's actually 20% off that level. You know, when you yeah. put it in percentage And if terms. we had an oil company making hundreds of millions of dollars, and all of a sudden you make 20% less, right. that is big, big numbers. Yeah, and it might be actually you make 100% less because the 20% might be all your profits. All profit, yeah, yeah. No, no doubt. Uh, and as Kevin said, i got to pull that up. I'll pull that in a, up in a break that, that he was saying that Halliburton was saying that that's the uh, low rig count. That's a big deal if that's the case. Yeah. You know. Yeah, get those rigs going. Yeah, right. <laughs> you stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials right now up 41. You get the Nasdaq up 43. S&Ps are up 7. Gold's down 14.50. Silver's up 46 cents. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume stocks and see what we have out here today. Uh, you have uh, Microsoft's up three bucks. You have uh, Morgan Stanley up 55 cents. They, they, they uh, had good numbers also. Uh, Netflix is up a buck, uh, buck eighty. Uh, CMG, what was going on with CMG? Kevin was talking about this morning. CMG. Okay, maybe that was yesterday. I got earnings tomorrow. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. Uh, maybe he was talking yeah. about the expected move. Man, oh man, that'd be pretty. Well, it, it, 
You're at 415. They would, I imagine their conference call is going to be more interesting than most, right? Yeah, you know? they've, they've had they've had yeah. a, they've had a problem in terms of explaining their expectations, what's going on, Big how time. they're repairing things. Yeah, yeah. If we go over to Microsoft, we take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft caught a bid. That's up thirty. That's up three dollars and forty cents. You're coming into a swing point that had twenty nine million. You're already at thirty four million. So that's some uh, real action there. Um, let's go over to look at Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley come out with numbers. They're up 55 cents. And for banks not thinking they're going to make any money, the wealth management part of these have made big money. You know, uh, I guess it's still stock that's down pretty dramatically. Uh, you know, you're down from 41 bucks, you're at 28, coming into a downdraft. But you're over that swing of, uh, oh, you're right at it, 28. Well, 28, 29, you're over, over it. Right? Yeah. yeah, it means that that game up till 30 dollars and 40 cents so if we go over to the xlf xlf still having a hard time at those highs the um isrg now this came out with numbers last night too look at this thing up 44 dollars yeah this is the robotic uh machines for surgery right da vinci system and you know what's amazing? Is it, Sounds like a good industry to be in. Yeah, seriously, man. This is actually a large, this is like a large ABC up. This is pretty amazing, actually. It's like a large straight line up. Yeah, saying, right? seriously, man. So we, we, from, yeah, from May of 2014, it was 346. Now you're dealing with uh, 716. You know, so. Uh, Combination of technology and healthcare. I think it's going to be huge. Here, for, well, here to stay and, and, only, and only go in big places. And what has happened, so this started... Um, and that's across the board. That stretches right into companies like, you know, Apple and Under Armour that are building that health technology into the clothes you wear and stuff like that. Totally. And, and this company here, so this company started... Um, they used to use this procedure just in one type of procedure, and now what has happened... Uh, well, here it is here, yeah, is that they're using it in more procedures now. Let's see what they say here. Intuitive Surgical expects fully a surgical procedure growth of 14 to 15%, up from 12 to 14. Yeah. So they're, let's see, does it say what they're using it for? No, it, it doesn't, but I know some of the Tigers know what they're using it. Sure. So it started out in, in one sector, and now what's going on is that it's getting used more and more. Now, yeah. the thing that's a mind blower, I was looking that in the quarter, they sold 31 of the devices, but they took in like 600 and something million, <laughs> you know? So I'm wondering, if, is this like the, the razor blade business, you know what I mean, that you have a device, then they're, they're, are there parts okay. of the device that you have to buy in order to do the surgeries, you sure. know what I mean? Sure. A unique business, though. And I'm sure they could be multi-million dollar pieces themselves, right? That's, that's, that's yeah. what I mean. Right. Only 31 of them. Right. That's, yeah. that's how I was trying to figure out, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. okay, so what is the device? Is the device that expensive? Or do you buy the device, and then every time you do a surgery, you have, you know, you have to... Yeah, and may, maybe that was just one device, that they, and they have so many devices, too. Um, I believe it's. I believe it's just. It's the device. It's the Da Vinci system. And then what they're doing is that they're using the the differences, and this is where the, maybe the money comes in as to what goes through that system. You know, because it's a in order to do the surgery. Okay. Because yeah, they're little tubes. It's a tube that goes in. I've seen what you know on a YouTube, but what it actually does, and it's just. Uh, yeah. Uh, um. Oil, oil's not, uh, and the oil's not cooperating with yeah. what I have. That's for sure. Quite a rise after that fall. Oh yeah, big time. You know, we we just went. Uh, we're at forty-five, forty-one. Not that that's not the. Uh, yeah, just right back up to those right, levels. Right, right back to where I sold it from. I actually yeah. sold it. I think I sold it from forty-five, fifty-three. But that's not going to help me because I needed it under forty-five. But two thirty yeah. is two thirty-two. It it's only forty cents away. Yeah, I mean to put it in perspective, mm -hmm. with three hours remaining. Right, no doubt. Now let's go over to Apple because Apple. Okay, the twenty sixth Apple's coming out with numbers. Because you know what's so funny when, when we were talking to Kevin Hinks, right? I was cracking up. I'm saying to him, "Yeah, you know, next week you got um, Facebook and you have 
Google and you have Amazon. I didn't even mention Apple. I thought in my like, head as you were saying them, I was like, "There's four. I knew there was four, yeah. and that's what it didn't." But isn't that funny? Because it, it's like off the radar a bit, but really shouldn't be. You know? Yeah, and I wouldn't say it's off the radar. Well, not off it's my not radar. Even, it's it, not it, even it off your radar. It, it just, no, it, but you get the gist of it. If that oh, was, no, no, if that, are, if yeah, that was, I think it just speaks to how big of a week next week is, where you know all of those other companies are in the same ballpark as Apple. That's for sure. Yeah. That's why you know this. And if that was two years ago, though, I never would have forgot Apple. I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> right, right, you know, right. it's like okay, man. Right. You know? Well, that's you know, Amazon and Facebook have come a long way in two years. Just those two. Amazon just won't stop. Amazon's yeah. up five sixty. That's six months. It's going from four fifty to seven fifty. Yeah. Facebook, Facebook is out here. Facebook's going to break its highs, man. Maybe yeah. today. Yeah. You're at 121.51. What is the high out here? I think. I think I just broke it. One second. Yeah, today, it's at a high. Unbelievable. Yep. And they report next week. And they report next week. You know, so. And they'll probably be trading at a high next week. I, I listen, man. They'll, I suspect, and we've talked about this before. There's no slowing them down. Right no, now. there isn't. There isn't. And they, they. They it not, seems like they have a lot of room for growth right now. They do. With sales taking their money and just right. growing their platform, mobile, Traction. all that stuff. They're into virtual Facebook reality. Facebook Live, yeah. They, right? yeah you Facebook know, Live, exactly. That's, Lots of stuff. That's that's going. And the virtual reality, we, we, we know from the, the Pokemon deal, that's going to be a huge monster deal. Uh, you know. So I, I said to you, I think, you know, they started doing like 3D pictures. Okay. So if you take your phone, you can kind of move around the room and yeah. it changes with... So you can now is this Facebook? This is a uh, Pokemon. Yeah. Yes. This no. This is Facebook. This okay. has nothing to do with okay. Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Um, within Facebook, you can p click on a picture, and then the picture is basically a room. And let's say they had like the Supreme Court room, so you could just go around and look, and you're looking at different points, and your phone is, and you can see how that's actually virtual reality, right? Imagine you know it just becomes strapped to your face. You can do that on Facebook right now. Yeah. So I can have... pull up like a, a, a picture. And then, yeah, and then it reacts to where your phone moves to show you different parts of the room. Almost like imagining you have a small lens in the room, and no matter where you tilt it, you see that part of the room. And so that's what that's they have right cool. now. But so you can see that that's the technology they're probably building out for virtual reality, because that's all virtual reality is, right? It's right. Like then you have it like strapped to your face, and you can't see anything but the room, and you feel like you're in the room. Well, that's like a 3D picture. It's kind of... So you just get a glimpse of but where really virtual cool. reality but, uh, can go, right? right. No, but, uh, I immediately was like, oh, wow, this is going to be virtual reality. Like, and if you wanted to go somewhere, you could check it out first, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah right. I mean, yeah. you're going on a vacation or something. Uh, you can check it out on the right? right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. You get the Dow Industrials right now up 46. NASDAQ's up 49. S&Ps are up 850. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. 
Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now up 42. You get the NASDAQ up 49. S&Ps are up 8. And when you take a look at the uh, percentage move, this NASDAQ uh, has got the juice. Uh, it's up uh, almost 1%. <coughs> Excuse me. Dow's up uh, 2 tenths. S&Ps up uh, 3 tenths. And if we go into the SPY, we know that the SPY is uh, trying to get, get, get that small ABC up. So that price projection is 218.90. That's, uh, we're getting closer. We're creeping. A dollar 80 away. Yeah. So what I'm hoping is that that projection comes in there, or gets close to it, right? And then if we go over, watch, if you go over to the NDX, the NDX, this spike has been hanging out there at 47.02, sure. which is only up another 50 points, right? And then, if I can get the composite the same way, the, 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 the NASDAQ composite has the same spike. <coughs> Excuse me. And that composite is 51.16, which is, we're right, well, it's, uh, what, 15, it's 31 points away from that. So I'd like to all those kind of put in together. Bunch of critical levels right critical there. Critical levels, and then, you know, then what you have, folks, is that you have the aspect, you know, how's the volume? Does it reject the price or does it go over it? Because if it goes over it, hey, guess what, man? It goes over it, the NASDAQ is going to go to those highs. Yeah. Um, you know, and, you know, I think that you, you got to line that up with uh, good old uh, Facebook. Particularly, we know Facebook wants to break tops. Up. Well, we don't know. It looks like they want to break yeah, tops. Up. They're at highs right now. They're at yeah. highs. Uh, Amazon certainly can gap higher 50 points like in a freaking hot beat. Prime day was a big one. So, just like that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you stay right there, folks. I'm in. Mr. Basil Chapman is going to be coming up next. Growl and prowling with you. Then we're going to uh, think of swim uh, headquarters uh, for swim lessons. That's 12 to 1. Uh, I'm in. Mr. Steve Rhodes, 1 to 2. Dave White will be back here uh, this afternoon. My oil trade is not uh, going where we want it to go, but yeah, that's we'll life in the city. Yeah, we'll pull back one more time. Quite a cup formation there, it's, maybe. It's, I mean, that is like... It's it's a run, man. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a run. There's no doubt. Uh, Forty four sixty now, and with that that, I think f over forty five. It stays oil so stays over forty five. Yeah, we had some then, tigers in the den that had some binaries. That yeah, about you know at at these upper levels. They were the right way. They yeah, were they, the right they had, way. They had yeah. the right way. Um, what you what you'd have there is that that'll give the S and P's a little more juice. You know. Uh, because it wouldn't take away from it. Let's put it that way. Sure. You know, I mean. And, you know, we, I think it's been the last, like, three times maybe that we've pulled up these trades and they haven't been winners, right? And we talk about this and I write about it. Right. You know, when you're making these low-risk, high-reward trades, right. even when you have, like, a 25% chance of probability or a 40% chance of probability, you're going to lose a few in a row. You're going to lose, like, five or six in a row all the time when well, you're risking only 20 with a max profit of 130. You know, you right. got to be aware of that. Right. And what happens here, this is what, as soon as I, I when I pulled that up there, I like the idea. Uh, if I even had bought the spread in the money, folks, I actually would have lost more money than yeah. 180 bucks I did right. because it moved so high. Yes. It's fast. Yes. So that gets intriguing there. That doesn't it happen does. a lot. It does. But, right. but that, you know, and that would have just been a regular trade. That was yeah. like, oh, you know, so it's not the end of the world. 
Um, and I guess I, I, I'm in Jay saying, I got to get my head wrapped around these binaries more. Binary sweet on the numbers, which, yeah. Yeah. You know? You trade spreads in a similar fashion with a little bit of that risk reward. As in, yeah. like a binary almost, where, you know, you're paying a lot of premium maybe right. for, and I think it's kind of nice with the spreads. At least you get to scale into some of those profits and losses once you start coming into where you have yeah. some intrinsic value. Whereas it does get dicey sometimes on those binaries when you just reach your level. If you, if you haven't test drove it yet, folks, test drive it. And then you won't be able to get away from the screen I know, right? when some of these binaries are, are coming in at 10 or yeah. 11 o'clock or whatever you're doing right yeah, at that. Yeah, because we're approaching 11 a.m. right That's now. Right. And you know that there's people out there with oh. binaries that, that had either the 45, 60, so 70 he, level. He has them. He, yeah. he took half off. He he's took gonna his, his off. Right. He, he yeah. took half off. He's going to take the rest. Stay here. Basil's coming right up, folks. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us. Carlos, thanks so much for turning all your buddies on to it. We love you, pal. There we go. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.